Hello there. I come to you from La Sagrada and I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of what we've been up to uh, given that the workers are gone for the day. So it's about five o'clock. Sun's just getting ready to set and this is our renovation project at La Sagrada and we will be open for retreats again in the fall of 2023. So let's get started. Okay. So this is the garden room, garden casita, and this will be an outdoor stone terrace. And you'll come right over here and enter in through these big, beautiful garden doors. And in here, this will be all Mexican tile. And right over here, there will be a little tea area, um, flavored water, juices, etc for quenching your thirst, coming in after a massage or after a yoga class or whatever that may be. There'll be two beds here and we are just putting the stone on this wall. This is a stone facade, but it's going to be on this wall uh, as a way in which to bring this room and uh, la abeja, the honeybee room, into um, synchronicity. So we have an area here for two beds and then over here there is a sink area you come back in this area, there's a little changing area, private, and showering in the back. Little windows to the stairwell, I'll show you those from the outside in a moment. And then this is the toilet area. All those windows will be a frosted glass, but this is how, this is our beautiful view out into the garden area from those, in and through those beautiful doors. So this is the garden casita for two guests. This is the only actual uh, additional housing that we are adding at this time. We're adding additional bathrooms and in total the facility will be able to host eight guests and a facility, um, a facilitator. Now over here, this is an area that is going to be, this is Miss Daisy and Maya, they're here with us. Uh, this is going to be an area for edibles. Edibles mean, <laughs> edibles meaning food, food you eat like kale and and chard and carrots and <laughs> that's what I mean by edibles. Oh, our world has changed, hasn't it? Okay, so then here, this is a bathroom area that takes you out to the Temescal or the sweat lodge, which is right out here. Right, right now it's very much in full on construction mode. It's a space that's being used for where they're mixing their concrete, etc. But here will be a toilet, here will be a shower, here will be a sink, and then out to the garden area you can see there. So you have to use your imagination to see beyond the intensity of construction. Little pump house area here. This will be the stairwell up into probably one of the most important features, if not the most important feature of La Sagrada, is el vientre del agua, the water womb. So be coming in here, and entering through this sweet little tunnel space right here. Coming on in, all the way in we go. You'll be going into water that goes all the way up just about to your chest, high belly chest. And then this will be all white in here. Everything will be all white. The roof is sculpted stones and then everything else will be stone as well. There'll be little seating areas. The floor will be white with crystal in the grout lines. And this is a little altar area and a perch. And there in the corner, there's going to be a, a waterfall that comes in, hot waterfall that comes in to the water womb. This will be a place for ceremony. This will be a place for healing. This will be a place for assimilation after you've been uh, in session or had a massage or been in a yoga class or done some really deep healing work. And then over here in the corner, this square area, that is going to be a cold shower, a cold waterfall shower. So when you come out of the water womb, you'll be able to go ahead and rinse yourself off with cold water. And did I mention that the water womb is actually saline? It's a salt water pool, if you will. All right. Now, the second, perhaps most important feature 
of La Sagrada is our art studio. So this art studio, you'll enter over here through the corner, gotta use your imagination, <laughs> and then join us in the fall. But this will be a place and a space where we are able to use art as a way in which to assimilate our experiences. Whether we are working on a wheel or we are painting or we are making our altars that we'll take home with us or we are making something that is a physical manifestation of the work that we came here to do. And we bring that home with us as a celebration of the journey that we've been on. Then we go up these stairs just for perspective a few of the other guest rooms are right up there you can see those guest rooms where all the flowers are and then we have more guest rooms in and through these doors so again we house eight eight guests and a facilitator uh, generally speaking this will be for yoga retreats it is vegan and vegetarian predominantly and uh, it's not an ashram, but it is a very sacred container that we hold here. Now in this space here, we are going to be in, we are going to be adding on an additional terrace, as you can see here, I'm all covered in dust from the water womb. <laughs> and then back here in the corner, we're gonna be making a stone oven, lodo really of, of mud, a mud and stone oven that we're going to be using as an outdoor kitchen to teach Ayurveda, to teach living in alignment with the natural world, to teach vegetarian cooking, and to teach uh, the art of sacred preparation, food preparation, and sacred healing. So this is La Sagrada. We are in process, uh, in renovation, and we will be back up and ready to receive registrations um, in the summer and we will also be beginning our retreats in the fall. So go to BritBSteel.com if you sign up anywhere on that website at BritBSteel.com you'll receive information about how to be uh, invited on retreat with us here. So I look so forward to seeing you at La Sagrada. Big love to you. Bye for now.